guys, so it is now time for our big adventure to go through the Illinois Valley. Let's get started. All right, so as one of the sites in the Illinois Valley, this is the Red Covered Bridge. This is one of the oldest bridges that's in probably the whole country and especially in the whole state of Illinois. Um, and as it says, there is a sign that is up there. Uh, this, it says like five cents to pass through the, through the bridge. Um, so that is one of the top sites if you ever come to Princeton, Illinois, is the, to see the red covered bridge. All right, so as part of the adventure of the, one of the sites of the Illinois Valley, um, we, have the, uh, we have the Illinois River right here behind me. Um, one of the top most rivers that comes through here and it connects with other rivers that are with other states around here. Um, so a lot of ships and a lot of barges go through here like all the time. So uh, this river is very high traffic, have high traffic it with a lot of, uh, a lot of boats and everything that moves here. And as you can hear above me here, there, there's traffic going above this bridge here that goes from uh, LaSalle over here to Ogilvy, which is that way. So this is one of the sites, the top site of the Illinois Valley is the Illinois River itself. All right, so this is Soldiers and Sailors Park right here. Um, this is one of the most attractive parks probably in all of Princeton here. Um, as you can see right behind me, this is a memorial here uh, for all the soldiers of World War I, World War II. Um, there's a giant American flag that is in there, as you can see. Um, and the doors are locked because it is a very secure place. And because it is right across from the courthouse, which is over there. Um, now, this place, they have like these little uh, pieces of gold that with the uh, time now um, they have a bunch of cool stuff to do at this, at this park which is awesome um, but otherwise this is one of the sites that if you come to Princeton you need to see Soldiers and Sailors Park. Alright so here we have this is the uh, train station here in Princeton, Illinois. This is one of the oldest sites that we have here is the train station. People come take the train from like here to Chicago uh, all the time they take train trips you can get on the train here and if you wanted to go to Canada you could. Um, this is where the Amtrak is. So this is, this is one, one, big, one big spot of this town that is a very historical site as you can see. And trains come through here with like passengers or like coal or whatever they're carrying. Um, and I've heard another train myself that came through here from Chicago one time. It was I thought the trip was fun. Um, and you get to see more stuff when you're, when you're on the train. So, the Princeton train station, I'd recommend if you ever have if you ever haven't ridden, ridden a train before, I would recommend an Amtrak train. All right, so now we are in the town of Utica, Illinois. This is one of the uh, last stops in Utica. Um, now this is where a lot of the a lot of history actually happens here in Illinois. This is the major spot to come if you want to visit um, the state of Illinois and the Illinois Valley is the town of Utica, Illinois. There's a lot to do here, a lot of history of this town, um, especially right here. This is a statue for uh, James Clark. He is uh, Utica's foremost citizen as it says right here. Um, there's a local museum right here. You can check out the entire uh, history of the town. Um, this town has got a lot of a lot of knowledge to it and a lot of good folks and people here. Um, so I'm happy to say that this is one of the this is one of the biggest stops that you must see if you ever come to Utica, Illinois. 